guys. This, this could be huge. How's it going everybody? It's Mike and we're back at it with another magnificent video. Today we're back at the Rainbow Bridge, of course. And uh, my goal, I just wanna find more of that pistol, man. The one from 1881. I only found uh, the barrel of it and I really wanna find the rest. Hopes aren't that high. I did search the area quite a bit, but now I'm just gonna try to focus today on really searching that area as much as I can. So without further ado, let's jump right back into it, guys. All right, guys, we're all hooked up. Let's start searching. So my hook is already on there. I'm just gonna start with my hook, I think. Okay, I just got something there on my first throw and it looks like a gear changer to a bike. So that's pretty cool. First toss in, we do get something, along with a bunch of seaweed. That's just the name of the game right there. All right, naked magnet, let's go. This is the kind of throw I did before. Kind of pulled it in this way. See if we can do a repeat of that. Just gonna go the whole way. Make sure we cover all of our bases here. And we're clean. All right, we're gonna keep doing this until we get something. I feel pretty confident. It's gonna take some searching to do. Because I have been here a lot, like I said. It's not gonna stop me though. <laughs> it's one of those steel plates. I'm pretty sure these actually go on train tracks or like on the railways or something like that. I pulled up a lot of them around uh, old train bridges. Yeah, that definitely explains why it was heavy. <laughs> Not what we're looking for, but good to get it out. It could have been on top of like other things down there, you know? So it's good to get all the debris out of the way because that debris might be covering up exactly what we're looking for. Yep, pretty sure that's a bike I'm feeling right there grappling hook will get that no problem but I might be able to get it with the magnet still yeah she keep this just hook that grappling hook on quick drag this bike out of here yep yeah, there it is we got it look there's a little light floating in the water too Look at that, grappled right under the seat. Pretty cool. She's pretty rusted. I don't think anybody wants to fix this guy up. It's a shame, it's a nice looking body. Body's in pretty decent condition. Pretty decent. I gotta start holding on to these things. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's the second uh, bike lock chain I've ever found. This one's in a lot better condition too. Not too bad. Well, if you're talking about the chain alone, not this, I don't think this is gonna turn ever again. But that is too funny. Just went right in there. <laughs> That's funny. Bike lock chain number two. It could have been to this bike too, but honestly, there's so many bikes out there, it's hard to know. Just keep tossing. Oh, what we got? Look at that, old lure. Haven't gotten a lure in some time. Look at that, still got the plastic piece on there. Cool. Bunch of rocks on this side. What have we got over here? Plastic, there we go, get that out of the water. That's it. Oh, hold the bike spoke too. Into the bucket. Oh, what do we got here? Old bike rim. Oh. Like a reef on it or something. That's hilarious. Oh, well, there's that. Add that to our bike pile. Oh yeah, we got something here. Ooh, what do we got? What do we got? I don't know what this is. Interesting. What does that look like to you guys? Old skate? No, I don't know. Let me know what you think this is if it makes it to the video. <laughs> this goes to show I threw it here so many times and I just pulling it up now. So it doesn't hurt to search an area more than 20 times, you know? Just keep looking, keep tossing her out there. Yeah, there's something really stuck down here. 
What could that be? Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, pulling up something big. Woo! Oh, holy crap. Wow. That is humongous, guys. Jeez. So guys, unfortunately, as I was recording and pulling this guy out, it turned off the camera, of course, but this is my tallest ever find yet. So this is actually touching the bottom of the water. So let's just pull it out and see. This is right my Woo. Lean her up right there. That's a good spot. It's not gonna go anywhere. Let's take a good look at that. Starts right down there. How far up does she go? All the way up there. Unbelievable. <laughs> Whew. This was actually stuck in the mud pretty good. It had to take me a couple times to try to knock it loose. My magnet would keep getting stuck on it and just sliding up of it. So, wow, that's my tallest find yet. That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. Whoa, look what we got here, guys. Old blade. Wow, looks like it's off of a switch blade, you know, like a, a Swiss Army knife or something. That's pretty cool. That means that must there must be more to it down there. Unreal. Let's put this back together. Guys, more socks. It just never ends with the socks, eh? Look at that, just barely got it with the grappling hook. There is a ton of rocks in there. This doesn't feel like a rock here though. This might be what we're looking for. This is pretty exciting, guys. Let's, let's open her up. So we got lots of rocks like usual. That's what we've just been finding. Oh man, what's with the rocks? Unbelievable. What we got here? Old tire, and this, whatever the heck this is. Add that to the pile of rims. Yeah, we got her, we got her. Ha, <laughs> what is this? Oh, oh my goodness. Guys. I just found a duffel bag of something. <sighs> wow. This, this could be huge. <sighs> this could be really huge. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna give ourselves some more space to work here. This could be huge or this could be absolutely nothing. right here now. Oh man. Oh. Yeah, what do we got here? Wow, I pulled up this other piece I swear before. So that's pretty cool to see. The water is just in here. Oh. It's like a pill bottle. Got a pill bottle here. Okay, let's pull this out. Oh, guys, we found a safe. We actually found a safe. So there's batteries in here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, so it's been broken into. They slammed it open. So let's try to clean out what we found here. Wow, this is insane. Let me take some pictures before I go too far. <laughs> this is what people always joke about. Like when you're magnet fishing, the one thing people are like, oh yeah, I threw some safes in here. Yeah, maybe you'll find a safe. Guys, I just found two safes. Let's open her up. Let's sort through this. Guys, oh, it's a battery. I thought, <laughs> I thought it was a bullet. I'm like, finally we found it. Okay. So, so far it's just a bunch of batteries in here. As you can see. 
see our little pile of stuff right here. Sorry for the camera angle. I'm pretty muddy and I can't be touching the camera too much. All right, so safe one is completely emptied out. I'm just gonna try to clean this off and not drop it in. So there was a little carpet in there. This is a nice safe. Why would somebody, well, they're stealing something. <laughs> That's cool. That is really, really friggin' cool. I love this. <laughs> this is one of my coolest finds. It just keeps getting better, guys. All right, let's put this off to the side. This is super cool. We'll clean that off a bit later. But let's get into the big one. This is gonna make a big mess. Oh, we got stuff floating in here too. <laughs> Rexall. Shout out to Rexall. Got another pill capsule. Someone's trying to hide something, eh? <laughs> Or we lose too much. Oh yeah, pieces of the safe. Ooh, there's the combination numbers to this safe. Yeah, they really busted into this. Just feel a ton of stuff in here. Ooh, maybe this is the tool they used to get in here. Little screwdriver, what is that on the end? Messed up end piece, <laughs> can't even tell. Pill capsule. Yeah, just the busted up pieces to the safe. Try to salvage all that that we can. Oh yeah, look at this. It's completely busted. Old tool of some sort, looks like a handle to a hammer. It honestly looks like a handle to a hammer, but missing the piece, <laughs> the end piece. Another battery, Duracell battery, shout out. All right, let's just take this out and take a look. Okay, there's the back of it flip her around so she's emptied out see the batteries going here they did look at that there's nothing in here promise me when I tell you there's nothing here wow old safe this duffel bag is completely waterproof so I'm gonna try to sift around and see what I can find in here broken pieces to the safe, it looks like. Just just a person doing a crime, trying to hide the evidence. Oh yeah, what's this? Oh, it's a crowbar, look at that, this guy, or girl. Crowbar his way into these bad boys, wow. Oh, crayfish in there, <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> Ooh, crayfish in there. Oh, jeez. All right, so obviously we got crayfish living in here. There's nothing in here. All right, that crayfish, we gotta get that crayfish out of there. <laughs> Guys, if you made it this far into the video, please smash a like and please share this. This is too cool. That's two safes off of the Rainbow Bridge in Lindsay. That's two pistols. That's a police baton and countless bikes. We're clearing all this out, and this has just been hiding in here for God knows how long. So guys, please leave a like, please share, and subscribe. I hope I'm not that annoying, but uh, <laughs> this is pretty darn cool. There's more to come, guys. There's the crayfish. There's our little buddy. Can't see him. Oh! There you go, bud. What are you doing? <laughs> Away he goes, he jumped back in the water. That's good, we saved him then. He's probably stuck in there. Just wanna make sure there's no more crayfish before I stick my hands back in. No, it looks pretty clean. Okay guys, is there a front pocket to this thing? Yeah, there is. Probably just scooped up a bunch of mud I was, as I was pulling. Yeah, there's nothing. So it's just a bunch of pieces, the tools he used, and that's it. So we're gonna dump this. Okay, let's give her the old pour. Nice and slow though, nice and slow. We'll keep an eye, just in case. Never be too careful. Oh, there's a dead crayfish, and oh, he's still alive. Uh, guys, another crayfish, there he goes. See, we're saving crayfish here, guys. Probably gonna hop right in the water too. Looks like your dad hopped in there. Are you gonna do the same? Oh, yes he is. <laughs> That's awesome. 
We saved two crayfish today. Let's keep her pouring. Unfortunately, guys, that's all that's in here. That is it. So we got two safe, so we can check that off of our bucket list. But unfortunately, there's nothing to show for it. Just two empty safes, two cracked open safes. Unreal. Just checking all the pockets one last time. And nothing back there. All right, so we're gonna give this a clean now. Oh boy, that is too cool. Just goes to show, ladies and gentlemen, anything can be anywhere. It doesn't matter if you're from a small town, if you're in a big city, stuff is just anywhere. Like there's gonna be people hiding stuff trying to throw things away, just accidentally losing things. Just goes to show right there. Oh, we're missing the strap here, look at that. The strap's just floating. <laughs> Top it all off, it's a Coors Light duffel bag. That is my favorite beer right there. <laughs> oh, shout out to Coors. Let's go. Made up pretty well today, guys. Broke a couple of records. Tallest item, two safes. That's what it's all about right there. Did I, I just found an old umbrella. Add that to the bucket list as well. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, it just keeps getting cooler and cooler and cooler. Oh, got ourselves a sock too. Probably nothing in there. No, she feels empty. Wow. People just like throwing their junk in here in general, eh? Oh, I got another piece on here too. That is too good. Well, if anybody needs a new umbrella fresh out of the lake, there you go. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh, I got it. Got it out. What do we got here? Took a couple tugs. Oh, really? Just a super old bike. Oh my God. That's yeah, the whole bike. Unbelievable. Every time we come here, this river just keeps providing for us. Nice. Pulled up some old tidy whiteies. Let's see if the guy actually wrote his name on it too. Jeez. <laughs> oh. Here's a close up of the name if you guys want to try to decipher that. Okay. We found more. Wow, this is the biggest one yet. I can't believe we just found this. This is the biggest sock I've found with all these rocks in it. What is going on? They're weighing something down and I still have yet to find it. It's all over the place. That is a big pile of nothing. What is? What are these people doing, I wonder? Like, I want to know so bad. Oh, it's a bike. I was getting scared there, guys. I really was hoping it wasn't a dead body. This, as you can see, is a really old bike as well. Ugh. Oh, man. What a day. Starts with nothing, and this platform just completely fills up with junk. Pretty crazy. Oh, oh, you guys see that? <laughs> Old beer can, right there. Let's see if we can get this beer can out of here. It's just right there. See, it doesn't sing. Oh yeah, she's coming to me. There we go. Come on, buddy. A little bit closer, a little bit closer. Carlin. So, people don't know, aluminum is not magnetic. So even if I wanted to, I can't pull stuff like that out of there. This one time, you probably saw it in the last episode, if not, what I did is my hook underwater dragged into the pop can like that and came out the other end, just like that. And I actually pulled it up like that. I couldn't believe my luck. But no, it's good to get that out of there. People shouldn't be throwing their beer cans in here. Honestly, it's just disgusting. So, we're doing our part, people. We're doing our part. 
There's one beer can that got loose, and who knows if there's any more. Ooh, what do we got? Look at that, Smirnoff. Ooh. <laughs> My buddy Benny's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> so it looks like he was working on the other day, a pair of headphones. He has a much smaller magnet, so he can't get a really good force or like a good grab on certain items. And uh, he had this and they were about halfway up and he dropped them, so. <laughs> Man, these things are pretty ancient. Oh, look at that. It says, educational systems. 600 CHM, what is that? X300, New Haven, Connecticut. So yeah, I was gonna say, these look pretty old. Like, these kind of look like the headphones I would use in like grade one. <laughs> so, that's good to get out of there. Ooh, look at that auxiliary port, jeez. That's a fat one. Interesting. Oh, look at that, looks like we got ourselves a dime as well. There's some change, some coffee money. I'll take some coffee money. Right in the pocket, that'll go. Oh, look how that is on here, guys. We got a quarter. <laughs> Not even on the magnet, it's on this. That's barely on there. Wow. What's the year on this? 2004. We're 35 cents richer today. <laughs> oh, we got a tire. Old wheel. The amount of bikes in here is unfathomable. <laughs> what did I just say there? <laughs> unfathomable. I can't say that word. Unfathomable. Whatever. It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, we're pulling something nice and slow. I don't know if it's my grappling hook that has it or if I'm magnetized on it, but we're gonna go nice and slow. No rush. We got it. Perfect. And it, ooh, a scooter. Sweet. That's a decent looking scooter, what is that? Seasonal. That's a seasonal scooter. <laughs> Never heard of that. Probably just like a Walmart brand. Oh, and got ourselves a lighter. Look at that. But it still works, too. Let's see. <laughs> nope. I did pull one up in Bob Cajun one time and it completely worked. It might have came loose, but I feel like I got something. Oh yeah. What is this? So we just got ourselves this thing. Oh, it says on there what it is. Guild Electric Limited. Ooh. Hmm. This was on the end of it. You electricians out there, you tell me what this is. Guild Electric Limited. Shout out to Guild. What have we got here, guys? Something heavy. Oh yeah, that's kinda heavy. Whoa! Old computer chair. Interesting. Oh man, getting everything out of here. First ever computer chair I've gotten. This is just getting hilarious. Okay guys, so I don't have long. My phone is about to die. That's why I couldn't record me pulling all that stuff up to the very top. Nonetheless, I pulled all the bikes up and they're in their spot right by the garbage can. And what you guys, I don't think you guys saw this, but I did manage to pull up a parking sign. So this thing is pretty old. There's actually a sticker on it that reads 2001. I'll get a, a picture up there on the screen for you. And yeah, this thing was pretty tough to get out, but it just goes to show, I say it a thousand times, anything could be anywhere. We've got our duffel bag with our safes all packed up to go. We've got all of our stuff in our bucket material. I'm gonna transfer this back home and then I'll do a proper outro. How's it going guys? So it is the next day. I'm ready to drop off the safes at the police station. But right before we get into that, I wanna go over all the finds that we got yesterday. So let's check them out. Okay, to start it off, we got our pair of headphones. My buddy Benny actually was pulling this and pulled it up halfway and dropped it. So he'll be happy to know that I pulled it out of the water for him. Or he'll be upset, I don't know. <laughs> we got two lures here. 
I'm not sure what this is, but we got this thing as well. It's actually not like a phone line. It's pretty heavy metal. Um, looks like a brake line. We got a lighter. Steel plate, I've been pulling up a lot of these just around like train bridges and such. We got ourselves a bike lock chain. That's pretty cool. This, I'm still not sure what it is. It's a heavier piece of metal. We didn't end up finding the rest of the switch blade, but here's the one piece of it. And then we got all our scrap metals up here. And as well, I can finally show this off to you guys. So every bottle cap that I find, I put it in my crystal skull head right here. And as you can see, I already have quite the little collection going. So, and to even fit it in there, you gotta actually bend it a little bit. So we're gonna have to bend this. There it is, just like that. Plop it in. And it's just like your collect and change. Um, there's not really a purpose to this other than it's gonna be a cool piece and a, a good little conversation starter. So with that all out of the way, let's take a look at our safes. All right guys, so our last look at our safes here. Here's the duffel bag that I pulled up. And as you can see, here are the safes. Right there, super cool. We still had the keypad on this one. It's been pushed in to break into it. This is actually the piece of carpet that goes inside of this one, so it's meant to look nicer. And this one here doesn't look too pretty. Everything got pried right off of it, but if you open it up, all the insides are in there. It actually has the keypad in here as well. All right guys, so there's the keypad for this one. That's what it would have looked like when it's on there. Let's take a look. All right, so that's what the front of it would have looked like, guys. This was the big safe, the electric safe EA20 boards. So uh, yeah, guys, that's it. So I'm gonna bring this over to the police station now. So we're gonna say our goodbyes. I'm gonna take a last couple photos for Instagram and, and then we'll drop it off. Also, I almost forgot to mention that these are actually the tools that this criminal used to break into the safes. I'm assuming, it's safe to assume. So this is actually in pieces, this hammer here. And this is the little screwdriver that he ended up using right here. So pretty cool, <laughs> pretty cool. So this pair of keys was actually in the safe as well as I was cleaning it out. The logo on there says the war amp, so it's a way of tracking down your keys. Yeah, there was the keys and as well all this stuff. All the batteries that powered the safe was in there, as well as these three pill capsules and just a bunch of random junk. So as you can see, there it is guys. It was all in the duffel bag there. Pretty cool find. I don't know how to explain how it felt actually finding this, but uh, yeah, let's jump over to the police station. All right guys, I made it. So obviously I can't bring you in there, but uh, I'll explain to you what happens after I get out. So uh, yeah, wish me luck. All right guys, so I just got done talking with the police officer and uh, one thing I learned, don't bring evidence to the police themselves. If you find anything out in the lake or anything like that, call them up and they'll come to you. Like they just don't know who's like bringing what to the police station. Um, so that was a tip he gave me there. But uh, pretty much they're gonna take it in, they're gonna look it over. I don't know if I'll hear anything else from it, but it's out of my hands now. It's out of the water, potentially help solve a crime. So that's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a like uh, and share it if you want. Please subscribe to my YouTube and be sure to follow me on Instagram. All right guys, peace, have a good one.